Let's learn how to select multiple cells at the same time using the shift arrow key shortcuts. Now, let's say we want to select A1 and A2 together. So I'm going to click on cell A1 and I'm going to use the shift down arrow key because I want to include A2 down arrow. Now I have both A1 and A2 selected. And you know that because you can see that there's a dark thick border around A1 and A2 together. And you can see that cell A1 is the active cell because of the color differences shown between A1 and A2. And also you can see that the content of A1 is in your formula bar. So A1 is the active cell, A2 is the end cell. Now when I hit shift down arrow again, I can select one more cell. So A3 is also selected now and you can see the dark thick border now extending. So A1 is the active cell, now A3 is the end cell. And now I select, now I press shift down arrow again, I select one more cell. So this is a great method to select one cell at a time or one row of cells at a time or one column of cells at a time. Now when I try to use shift up arrow key now, I deselect one cell at a time. So here A4 is deselected. I only have A1 through A3 in my selected list. So any operation that I do will apply to all the cells that I've selected. So let's use the delete operation. So now that I've selected A1, A2 and A3, now if I press delete key, I actually delete all the three cells together at the same time. And this is where selection of multiple cells become very effective for you to do operations efficiently and quickly to a lot of different cells at the same time. So now I'm going to use Control Z shortcut to undo what I did because I don't want to really delete the information in those cells now. And now let's continue with selecting more cells. So for example, let's say I want to select the author names also for these three books. So I can do shift right arrow. Now all the six cells are selected. If I press shift right arrow again, all this, the years in which these books were published will also be selected. Uh, so if I press shift left arrow now, I deselect the column C of cells. And so what is happening is when I use the right, it actually selects more cells. And when I use the shift left, it deselected here. Before we get into how this is actually working, let's also note that when I selected multiple cells here using the shift arrow key operation, even if I remove my finger from the shift key, these cells will still be selected. You don't have to keep pressing the shift key for them to remain selected. However, if I want to add more cells or remove some cells, then I need to use the shift and then the arrow key combination. So remember that you don't have to keep pressing the shift. If you've already selected the cells you want, then you can remove your finger off the shift key. The cells will remain selected. So for us to understand how this is actually working, let's just select cell B3. And now I'm going to use shift right arrow, which goes and selects the one cell to the right. And when I press shift down arrow now, I'm selecting another row of cells here, B4 and C4. So in this selection, B3 is the active cell, as you can see here, and also in the formula bar, because there's no content in cell B3, nothing shows up in the formula bar, but B3 is the active cell. And what I'm gonna call the end cell is the cell that is in the opposite corner diagonally from the active cell. So in this case, cell C4 is the end cell. So now if I use shift right arrow key, that means it's going in this direction and it is in the opposite direction from the active cell. You should always think about this from the end cells perspective. So if you are in C4, if you're moving to the right, which means you're moving away from the active cell B3. When you're moving away, you're going to select more cells. So let's see, shift right arrow, I'm selecting more cells. And also 
if I'm moving in the downward direction using the shift down arrow key, we are also moving away from the active cell B3. So you will be selecting more cells. There you go. Let's understand that when we select or deselect cells, we are changing the end cell. For example, now B3 is the active and the diagonal corner opposite here, D5 is the end cell. So from D5's perspective, if I think about left, it's actually from D5, left will be going towards the active cell. So when we are moving towards the active cell, we are going to deselect cells. So shift left arrow will deselect cells. Now C5 is the end cell. And if I do shift up arrow, which will be in the direction towards the active cell, which means I will actually deselect cells. Again, if you're moving towards the active cell from the end cell, you're going to deselect cells. If you're moving away from the active cell, then you're going to select more cells. The left and right arrows will be selecting or deselecting columns of cells. The up or down arrows will actually be selecting or deselecting rows of cells at a time. So let's continue for a few more examples so that we make sure that we understand this concept well. So now from here, I'm going to use my shift left arrow, which means I'm going to deselect cells. And now I only have two cells. Here, the active cell is B3 and the end cell is B4. If I use shift up arrow now, I'm actually going to go towards the active cell, which means I'm going to deselect a cell. So now I only have B3 as selected. If I press shift up arrow now, what is going to happen is I'm going to be moving away from B3. In this case, any direction you go, you're going to be moving away from the uh, active cell B3, which means you're going to select cells. I'm, I Now I have selected cell B2 because I did shift up arrow. And now if I use shift down arrow, I will be deselecting cells. I'm going to use shift left arrow to select A3 and I'm going to do shift up arrow. I have also selected A2 and B2 together. So this is to show that the active cell does not have to be on the top left corner of your selection. Now it is actually in the bottom right corner as you can see here. So the active cell can be in any corner and all the rules that we studied apply in the same way. You should always think where your end cell is, which is the opposite from the active cell. And from the end cell, if you use the arrow key in a direction that moves you towards the active cell, you're going to be deselecting cells. If you're moving away from the active cell, then you will be selecting more cells. So, and finally, as you have noticed, this operation, this shortcut, actually works the same way regardless of whether you have a blank cell or not. The shift operation just is selecting one cell or one column of cells or one row of cells at a time or deselects one column of cells, one row of cells or one cell at a time. It does not differentiate between a blank cell and a cell with content in it.